to this story in Tampa where police are still looking for the person who shot and killed a rapper and hurt three others outside of a hotel there. A couple of times and he thinks that the beef will end sooner than later. I don't know him. I never even like I never seen him before. The ongoing feud in Florida's rap scene has tragically claimed another life. Julio Fulio, known as Young Life Julio, was celebrating his 26th birthday when he was targeted, and K. His death adds to the violent history of his notorious rivalry with fellow Florida rapper Youngin Ace. Rumors suggest that Youngin Ace is now on the run following allegations by federal authorities who claim to have new evidence linking him to planning the hit on Julio. In a shocking turn of events, just hours after Fulio's death, Youngin Ace released a new diss track titled Do It and posted a tweet that seemed to mock Fulio's passing. This latest tragedy underscores the long-standing rivalry between the two rappers and their respective crews, Ace's ATK and Fulio's KTA. Both Fulio and Youngin have tragically lost multiple friends and family members to this ongoing feud, including their own brothers. Following Fulio's passing, federal authorities are reportedly focusing on Youngin Ace in connection to this incident. And, and say, okay, you know, Fulio, he, he didn't take from nobody, whatever else, but you're not around to, you know, to feel that love because you're gone. Oh, you telling the Tampa Police Department has confirmed to 2XL Magazine that Fulio, whose real name was Charles Jones, was one of four people shot during the incident outside the hotel. All we know at this point is around 4.40 this morning. We received a 911 call about a shooting in a parking lot on McKinley and Fowler. Two cars were shot at, and four people were shot in total. Three were transported to hospitals, and one was pronounced deceased at the scene, said Joni Lewis, public information officer for the Tampa Police Department. What we have learned, and this is early in the investigation, two cars were shot at, said Joni Lewis, public information officer of the Tampa Police Department. The statement continued, saying that police are actively investigating the events leading up to the incident and are working to identify those involved. This is an ongoing investigation, and further information will be released as it becomes available. Meanwhile, Fulio's attorney, L.S. Fusco, informed News 4 Jax that Fulio was celebrating his 26th birthday and initially staying at an Airbnb. However, they were asked to leave by the host due to having too many people, prompting them to relocate to a different location. Unfortunately, Fulio and his friends shared this new location on social media. According to Fulio's attorney, he was ambushed at the Holiday Inn Hotel, where he had rented a room after leaving the Airbnb. Attorney Louis Fusco, who represents Jones, confirms the rapper was kicked out of an Airbnb, then went to a hotel. That's where investigators believe Jones and his entourage were. In case you're not familiar with Fulio's backstory, he was a rising star in the rap scene from Jacksonville, Florida, known for his significant social media presence. He had over a million followers on Instagram and more than 600,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. However, Fulio was also notorious for his intense public feud with fellow Florida rapper Yungin Ace. This conflict wasn't just personal, it stemmed from a long-standing rivalry between their respective crews, Fulio's KTA and Ace's ATK. Okay. The ATK gang. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK, Ace's top one, nine people. You know, the animosity between the two crews had been simmering for years, escalating dramatically in 2017 when Fulio's 17-year-old cousin Zan Brown was targeted. Shortly after, Dantry Thomas, an associate of Young and Ace, was charged in connection with the incident. This event triggered a series of tragic events between 2018 and 2021. A lot of rappers talk crazy in the booth but never really live that life, but Julio Fulio is the opposite. He sparked one of the deadliest wars in rap history and survived four shootouts. Yet, most fans have no idea how wild his story truly is. Fulio came up on the north side of Jacksonville in one of the most active areas of the city called Six Block. He told Cam Capone News that he lost his first homie at just 15 years old, and by the time he was 20, he had already lost 15 friends to the streets. After being kicked out of school in the ninth grade, Fulio was sent to an alternative school in rival territory. On his first day at the new school, someone from the rival neighborhood was K while waiting for the bus, and Fulio started dissing them all over social media. Many people at school believed Fulio had something to do with the hit, leading to a fight over the incident. 
Throwing hands is one thing, but after the last bell rang, the situation took a wild turn. Fulio hopped on the bus, but the ops were following him. While he was walking down the street, someone started shooting at him and his homies. A bullet hit Fulio in the leg and knocked his hip out of place, forcing him to crawl away while the shooter continued firing. First, because it's like, I could have saved him, like, you know? I could have, like, because I was, like, on the phone with him. Like, he called me, he was like, big cub. That's my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Julio made it to the front yard of a woman in the neighborhood and asked for help, but she told him to get off her property and refused to assist him. He passed out and woke up surrounded by cops and EMTs, then blacked out again and woke up in the hospital. The ops weren't the only ones who thought he was involved in the M that occurred that morning. The police started questioning him about the situation as well. Eventually, Fulio proved that he was just going to school that morning and wasn't involved in the M. However, his life took a brutal turn after that day. Fulio tried working a normal job in a factory for a short period, but it only lasted a few months before he returned to street activities. He dove deeper into the streets and started rapping simultaneously. Initially, rapping was just a side activity, but after a few of his early tracks gained popularity, he realized it could be his ticket out of the trenches. Around the same time Fulio was gaining buzz in the city, another rapper named Youngin Ace was also laying down tracks and trying to make a name for himself. Instead of collaborating and putting on for Jacksonville together, they ended up splitting the city in half, leading to dozens of bodies dropping on both sides. The feud allegedly began with the K of Fulio's cousin, Zion Brown, in 2017. Zion was at his house when a man named Dantry Thomas threw a brick through the window and started shooting. Two girls in the house were hit but survived, while Zion tragically did not make it out alive. Youngin Ace and Thomas were close, and in 2018, both were charged with allegedly robbing a weed dealer and shooting. You had a cousin, uh, Zion Brown. Yeah, I got him on my stomach, uh, tattooed. 19 years old, uh, a man stormed into a house and shot him to death. Yeah. Ace managed to avoid serious legal consequences in the case, but a few months later, he experienced a brutal loss that intensified his beef with Fulio. Ace, his brother, and two of his best friends went out to eat to celebrate his homie's birthday. As they left the restaurant, a shooter approached and emptied a clip into their car. Ace was hit eight times, but was the only one who survived. After the incident, Fulio made some disparaging comments on social media. He told SCTV that he didn't feel bad about it because he knew Ace's crew would have done the same if the situation were reversed. Despite dissing Ace's dead friends, Fulio claimed the beef wasn't that deep, but the events that followed proved otherwise. In January 2019, a rapper named Boss Goon was shot and Kay outside a nightclub in Jacksonville. He had just been released from prison after serving a decade behind bars, and his father was also injured in the shooting. Boss Goon was the brother of Ace's homie Kasu, who was allegedly one of the top shooters in Ace's ATK crew. After his brother's death, Kasu allegedly retaliated by Kay, one of Fulio's best friends, further escalating the deadly feud. Lil Baby was always hanging around Fulio, despite his homie K Shorty warning him to stay away. Fulio was already one of the most hated dudes in the city, and K Shorty knew that Lil Baby could get caught up in the drama and end up with a target on his back too. Unfortunately, Lil Baby didn't listen, and in February 2019, a shooter approached him outside his apartment building and started firing. Lil Baby tried to escape, but the shooter ran up and K him in broad daylight. Following Lil Baby's death, the other side started dissing him like crazy. Kasu in particular dropped a track where he rapped about the incident, adding fuel to the already intense and deadly rivalry. Now, Kasu is facing a M charge for K Lil Baby, plus he's fighting another case for allegedly K another one of Fulio's homies named L Buck. Fulio's side allegedly clapped back by taking out Ace's homie, Leaky. Leaky was one of Fulio's biggest ops, and allegedly even shot his girlfriend's finger off. In April 2020, Fulio's girlfriend Bubbin was driving his car when a shooter drove by and started firing at her and her friend. Bubbin tried to drive away and duck from the bullets, but she ended up getting hit in the head and knee and even lost a finger. Rumors said that Leaky was the one who pulled up on her, and his homie Spinabenz dissed Fulio over it on the track, I Don't Smoke Kendra, with the lyrics reflecting the ongoing violence and retaliation. A month after Bubbin was shot, Leaky allegedly K another person from Six Block named 35. 35 was just hanging out with some friends when a shooter hopped out of a car and opened fire, hitting all of them. 
While 35's friend survived, he tragically did not make it. Leakey was known as one of the most active shooters in the city, and he allegedly K another rival just one month after 35's death. A rapper named Jump Out Squeeze had recently dropped a diss track against Leaky and his crew, but 10 days later he was M while trying to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. Leaky's actions put immense pressure on the streets, and in September 2020, it all caught up to him. Leaky was K while sitting in a car with Spinabens and other friends when another vehicle pulled up and started shooting. By the time the shooting stopped, Leaky was dead. Nobody was ever charged with the M, but Leaky's sister claimed that Fulio was involved in the hit. After Leaky's death, Fulio hopped on Rod K track, all gas and rapped lines that many interpreted as boasting about Leaky's M. Then he named a song after Leaky and said, 100K, he'll shake the room, sweep his block, we don't need no broom. They ask me how high I am, I'm Leek. Hi, I'm to the moon 16, they K him soon in the streets acting like a goon. You and my city, better check in, we spin Ben, we'll make you get in tune. Eliminating Leaky from the picture at 628 was a major victory for FIO and 6 Block, but then they faced two consecutive losses. Fulio's friend, SP2 Times, was found shot to death at the Hilltop Village Apartments, the same place where BBY was K. The very next day, Rod K was also K in the same location. Following these events, Spina Benz released the track, I Don't Smoke Kendra, and rapped, Rod K died, he was spinning, guess he freezed up of his last words. Coo, the last thing he seen was us, AI niggas know we get it poppin' coo, I might miss in the range, but I can hit a movin' target, shoe shootin' for his head, I frown and hit his body, I'm just shootin' and I'm sprayin', I frown and hit his partner, go I! The violence in Jacksonville was escalating daily, but Fulio couldn't find safety, even after leaving the city in 2020. While in Houston, the ops attempted to target him, shooting up his car and grazing his neck. Despite this, Fulio quickly returned to social media to mock the ops for their failed attempt on his life. Shot me with any on Kendra. <laughs> As soon as Fulio was targeted, rumors swirled that A and his crew were responsible. When they dropped the track, Who I Smoke, Fast Money Goon essentially confirmed the speculation. The diss escalated the conflict in Jacksonville to unprecedented levels, becoming one of the most brutal diss tracks ever. The viral sensation drew more attention to the city's ongoing turmoil. Young and A, along with Spin Up BS Whopper and Fast Money Goon, all took aim at Fulio and his deceased associates. Even Fulio acknowledged the track's impact, admitting its harshness. However, he wasn't one to stay silent. A few weeks later, he retaliated with, When I See You, taking disrespect to new heights. In the video, Fulio opened with a news report detailing the shooting that claimed Ace's brother and two friends. He stood in front of a flyer bearing their photos, dancing defiantly as he delivered cutting lines like, Ace from the West, how he clicked up with the East Side? How? He ain't been the same since he's seen the other three die. Goddamn. B, I'm 2-3 high B, say your goodbye, gave that boy the business, like a suit and a bow tie. Facts. Light them boys block up like the 4th of July. Bra. They got caught lacking, the whole world wanna know why. In 2021, the beef reached its peak when Fulio seized the opportunity to unleash a barrage of provocative shots at Ace and his crew. On his remix of the track Beatbox, Fulio and his partner Kojak targeted Queso's brother Boss Goon with fiery lines like, Rolling dead ops, boom. He caught a headshot, big boss gone. We got him scared now, come out. He was dissing in them songs. What he saying now? AR with the 50 around, knock his dread off, ran down 50K on your head. Let that bag talk, bag. I'ma walk him down, ain't no standoff. No, and playing hard, but he really soft. Six, Prosper got shot, shot. Tay got shot, ha. Desi got dropped, damn. Nate got popped, damn. Leek got shot, well damn. Spaz face hot, on gang. Corbin got kidnapped, they found his bones. He was rotten, where's Corbin? Michi was the boss, they knocked his ass off. John acted a fool. Corbin Johnson, affiliated with the same group as Lil Leaky, allegedly met his end at the Amazon warehouse after an interview in 2020. Despite a missing persons report being filed two days later, he wasn't found until a year later, wrapped in plastic in the woods. While the perpetrator remains unknown, Fulio has consistently dissed him since. Fulio intensified his rap attacks with the October 2021 track, List of Dead Ops, which escalated the already extreme disrespect in Jacksonville's drill scene by targeting over 30 deceased rivals. 
Coolio began the track by targeting Big Baby and other adversaries. Big Baby, notably M on Fulio's first day at a new school, was among those called out. In 2016, Fulio's rival Malcolm was also K in a shootout on 2nd Avenue, leading Fulio to take shots at both Malcolm and Corbin in his lyrics, stating, Malcolm died on 2nd, 2nd. They taught his bitch ass a lesson, a lesson. I, Corbin got kidnapped. How the F.A. grown man go missing? Then he called out Eldridge, who allegedly faced repercussions for allegedly snitching on his friends, rapping, Eldridge died, he was snitching, damn. Either way, he was gonna get it, damn. In 2015, Fulio's rival Desi was discovered shot multiple times in the head and face. Despite Desi's father being a retired police officer, Desi faced charges including carrying a concealed firearm and resisting arrest. Fulio dissed him on the track, along with Freddie Patterson, who had previously dissed Lil Baby in a song. After dropping his diss track, someone knocked on Freddie's front door and fatally shot him when he answered. Fulio mocked both individuals in his lyrics. In June 2018, young Gene Ace was targeted in a drive-by shooting that resulted in the death of his brother, Trevin Bullard, and two others. Young Gene Ace survived despite being shot eight times. Adding more tension to the feud, Fulio appeared to celebrate the deaths of young Gene Ace's brother on social media. Fast forward to March 2021, the feud reached new heights when Youngin Ace, along with Spinner Ben and Fast Money Goon, released the song, Who I Smoke. In March 2021, Who I Smoke. Who I Smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into. Which sampled Vanessa Carlton's 2002 hit, A Thousand Miles, featured a chorus that named deceased members of Fulio's crew. Shortly after, Fulio responded with a song called When I See You. This track began with a news report about the 2018 incident that claimed the life of young Gene Ace's brother. The music video for When I See You was equally provocative, showing Fulio dancing in a cemetery with photos of Ace's deceased brother and friends. Over the years, both Fulio and Young Gene Ace briefly addressed their feud in interviews, but they mostly avoided going into detail about the conflict. In July 2021, Fulio spoke with Vlad TV and discussed Young Gene Ace dissing his deceased little brother on Who I Smoke. He claimed that some of the people who collaborated with Young Gene Ace on that track were actually his fans before they turned against him. Lyric where he said like like my grandma Zoe or something like that. I say um my grandma do voodoo and we chopped the head off a of goose. I got a couple songs referencing like stuff cause like that's what I'm tied in with. When Vlad asked Fulio if he thought the beef should be squashed before more lives are lost, Fulio responded by saying they would probably sit down and talk it out sooner or later. He also revealed that he had already spoken with Young Gene Ace a couple of times and claimed that neither of them wanted to hurt each other. It probably happened sooner than later. You never know what God got planned, you know? I told him that a couple times, you know? We talk, we'd be talking time to time like that, you know? When Young Gene Ace appeared on Vlad TV shortly after, he denied ever meeting Fulio in person. Young Gene Ace claimed that Fulio and his crew were simply dissing him for likes and views. I never even like. I never seen him before in my life. In person? Never seen him before. Okay. No, but actually, none of them. Young Gene Ace eventually admitted that he and Fulio had exchanged direct messages before. However, when Vlad suggested that Fulio was open to working things out and squashing the beef, Young Gene Ace didn't seem receptive to that idea. And that, no, we don't, he, he don't, it's, it's like, I don't, we don't deal with each other before. Okay. So you've DM'd each other. So there's been some communication between For sure. The situation has escalated tragically, with fans speculating that Fulio's comment about the beef ending, sooner or later, was misunderstood. Instead of planning to reconcile, some believe Fulio hinted that the conflict would end when his crew avenged their losses against Young Geen Ace. There's speculation that Young Geen Ace interpreted this message, leading to the tragic events that followed. Tom Hackney, a crime analyst from Jacksonville, commented that Fulio's passing will likely escalate tensions further, perpetuating the cycle of violence. Hackney suggested that retaliation might occur from Young Gene Ace's side, continuing the cycle. As for Young Gene Ace, just hours after Fulio's passing, he released a new diss track titled, I Told Them To Do It, which has raised speculation that he may be admitting involvement in ordering the hit on Fulio. 
Additionally, Youngin Ace posted a since-deleted tweet shortly after the news broke, which implied a reference to Fulio's passing. Reports indicate that federal authorities are looking into Youngin Ace's possible involvement, and he has reportedly gone into hiding. As for fans, many are expressing sadness over the situation, emphasizing that there are no winners in this tragic feud. There's a prevailing sentiment that it's only a matter of time before more young lives are lost to what they perceive as pointless rap rivalries. One fan succinctly captured the sentiment by stating the overall sadness and the inevitable toll such conflicts take on young men's lives, saying, This wasn't a rap beef. This was a beef that cultivated into negative inspiration in the form of rap. Both of these kids were, are talented. I feel bad for all parties, all the way down to the generational curses that started the war between those inexistent separations between street and territory. Another one added, What a devastating loss for mankind. Don't know how we're gonna cope. So this long feud involving Youngin Ace and Fulio has raised the eyebrows of many fans who have predicted that Youngin can possibly get arrested. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.